skill. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use difference tool or in other words, arrays tool. So let us see how this tool works. So you can see here, two features are available. One is a rectangular feature and another one is a circular feature. So you can see that the circular feature is being overlapping on the rectangular feature. So what this tool does is that it just removes the portion, overlapping portion of the circular from the rectangular. So you, you will be getting a result like this. Only the overlapping uh, area of the circle will be removed. Rest of the area will be as it is. So you are getting a shape like this. So let us see how to do it in QGIS. So open your QGIS and you can see here I'm having uh, two features. One is a uh, polygon C and other one is merged. Polygon C is nothing but the circle layer and the merged is nothing but the uh, rectangular layer. So these are the two layers which I'll be uh, using in this example. So now you can see that only the overlapping area the circle overlapping area will be removed from the rectangle. So let me show you how to do that. So you can see here the option processing. Select the option processing and hit the button toolbox. After hitting the toolbox, you can see a tabular box. Uh, a toolbox will be opened like this. And on the top, you can uh, directly search difference. So you can find the difference tool over here. Just uh, double click on it. The tool will be opening. And now we need to input our layer. So our input layer will be our rectangular file. That is nothing but the merged layer. And the overlaying uh, feature will be our circle feature. That is called as polygon C file. So this is the rectangular file. Input will be rectangular file. And our overlay will be the circle file. So we will be getting a result where the portion where the circle is overlaying on the top of the rectangular will be removed and rest of the rectangular will be coming out. So let me show you how to do that. So after doing it, you can see here, if you want you can uh, save the file or you can uh, have it in a temporary layer that we can uh, easily export it as a layer after successfully completing it. So now hit the button run. So the process has been completed. Now let me show you the difference. Let me remove these files. And now you can see the difference over here. So only the part of circle overlaying the rectangular will be removed. You can see here the rest of the rectangular has been intact. So let me show you the polygon file. Sorry, uh, that does uh, the circle. So this is how the tool works. Let me show you another real world example using some other shape files. Let me add some more layers. So I have added a couple of layers. So you can see here, uh, there are two features which are available. So one is the sub basin file, another one is the study area file. So I need to remove the area, the study area. So I need to just remove this area and I need the rest of the features so how to do that using the arrays tool that is what we are going to see so once again click on the difference tool and now our input layer will be our basin file sorry sub basin file and our overlaying feature will be the study area file so i just need to remove this portion which is uh, overlaid by the study area and now we are going to hit the button run so let us see how the result looks like. Let me close it and let me remove these files, basin and study area file. Now you can see here, after removing, 
you can see this portion has been removed successfully from the layer. So remaining I can use it for my study. So likewise you can use this uh, difference tool. So which is also called as array tool. If you have any doubts on this, please do ask in the comment section. I will be answering to your questions. Thanks for watching Terra Special. Please do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye everyone.